Ken Siegel, and I wrote the book Insanely Simple, which is about how Apple's obsession with simplicity has really helped make it what it is today. My keynote speech, by no coincidence, is also called Insanely Simple, but it's about how any organization can use the power of simplicity to do remarkable things. For a lot of people, Apple's amazing success can be explained in two words, Steve Jobs, and I wouldn't disagree with that. But even Steve would stand up quite often and say, it's not just me. Apple has thousands of brilliant people, engineers, designers, and marketers. And of course he was right. But that doesn't really explain everything. Because there are a lot of smart people in this world working for a lot of smart companies. Apple doesn't have a monopoly on brains. At least not yet. So what is the story with Apple? How do you explain their success? Is it something in the water over there? Or is there some fundamental difference between the way Apple works and the way other companies work? The answer is, there is a difference, and it's a very big difference. I know this for a fact because I spent most of my professional life creating advertising not just for Steve Jobs and Apple, but for Intel, Dell, IBM, and other companies. And I could see it with my own eyes. Apple has this amazing ability to keep things simple. Other companies, despite the best of intentions, let things get complicated. This is actually the core of my keynote speech. It's about understanding how Apple remains true to simplicity even as it gets bigger, even as it gets ridiculously bigger, and understanding what goes on inside these other companies that allows complexity to get its foot in the door, where it can start committing its many crimes. I'll show you how Apple enforces the laws of simplicity and how it slams the door, often very rudely, in the face of complexity. Now, will you be able to use simplicity to build the most valuable company on the face of the earth, like Apple did? Well, I wouldn't bet my life on that one. But I'm pretty darn sure you can use simplicity to help your organization see things far more clearly and bring your people closer together and get closer to your customers. Because in a complicated world, there is no more powerful force than simplicity. Steve Jobs knew this. That's why he built simplicity into his products. But more important, that's why he built it into his company. To Steve, simplicity wasn't just a religion. It was a competitive weapon. And he used it with great effectiveness to put distance between Apple and everyone else. Revolution after revolution, Apple proved that the best way to reach a higher goal is to travel a simpler path. That's what I'm going to come talk about. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.